Okay, so um, today we've been talking about how to make graphs. I know most of you know how to make a graph, but graphs are so prevalent in the world and in science specifically, and they're so important, it, it's, it's necessary that you do them correctly. If you make a mistake in a graph, in any step, it, it kind of ruins the data. Okay, So we'll, we'll just go through the steps. Now obviously the first step is gathering data and it's important to accurately gather the data you have and this is some of the data that was gathered in our first activity here um, checking the, the metric system versus English system looking for the conversion factor between centimeters and inches. And the first thing you have to do when you make a graph is look at all of your data and scale up your axes and make sure that your data takes up the entire axis. So you want to use as much of the graph as possible and that it be consistently scaled. Okay? And, and in most cases, the origin is going to be 0, 0. It's not always going to be, for, but in most cases it is. Okay? And both axes should be consistently scaled, which means each line along the y or the x has to have the same value. And in this case, if you look at uh, the centimeters that we're going to do on the y-axis, the biggest one is 195. So we need to make sure that our axis goes up to somewhere around 200. It doesn't have to be 200 at the top, but you know, somewhere around there so that when we plot our data, our data is spread out over the whole graph there. And along the x-axis, the biggest one would again probably be your height, and in this case, 76 inches is the longest measurement. So you want to make sure that you spread it out, and 76 is down here if you make each line worth 10, just like it was on the y-axis. And again, the keys are that the, the scaling is consistent. Each line has the same value. The second step is to plot your data. You're going to want to look at it here. This is this is very important. That the dots actually go where the, the data says they should go. The first one, they don't have to be put in any particular order. You just start at the top and work. The length of the textbook was 12 inches or 27 centimeters. So we're going to go along the inches here over to 12. So there's 10 at the first line. We're not going to go all the way to the second line. That's 20. We're not even going to go to halfway. We're going to go somewhere over here a little past the 10 and then we're going to go up 10, 20, not quite to the 30 but up to the 27 and place our dot. And then we're just going to keep going. The width is uh, 7.9 or about 8 and 20 so we're going to go over almost to the 10 and then up 20 and place our dot. I mean just going to keep going, keep plotting these points 1.5 and 4 one and a half inches somewhere on here and up not even halfway to the 10 line. And again, it's important that you plot this data. And you can also start noting as you get more and more data points plotted, there's our uh, floor tile, 12 by 30, that it's starting to look pretty linear and it looks like that line is also going through 0, 0. And you need to make sure that this makes sense. It, zero, it should point at zero, 0, because if something has no length in centimeters, it should also have no length in inches. So we watch all this data plot out, and it seems to be pretty darn linear there. Good-looking data. So we've, we've scaled up the graph consistently. We've plotted all of our points. The next step is to draw a best-fit line. And you, you have to decide where is the line going to start. Does it make sense that the line would be zero, zero? And again, we just talked about that. It should be, if you have no length in centimeters, well, then there's no length in inches. So it should start at zero, zero. That's where we're going to put the, the start of our line. And then it's important that we do not connect the dots. We're going to draw a straight line through as many of your points as possible. And these look pretty good. They're mostly on a line. So we're going to draw that line so that it goes through as many points as possible. If you have points that aren't on the line, try to have as an even number above and below the line. You're just averaging out your data points with a straight line. Okay. So we've scaled up, we've plotted the points, we've drawn the best possible straight line we can through our points, usually starting at zero. 
And now we need to calculate the slope of the line because the slope of the line tells us something. And in this case, if you remember, it tells us what the conversion is between centimeters and inches. It tells us what, how many centimeters make up an inch. So we're going to choose two points on the line. We never choose data points. And it doesn't matter which two points you choose. It, the line is straight. The slope is going to be the same no matter where you choose the points. But you want to choose ones that make the math easy on you. And if the graph goes through 0, 0, certainly the easiest point is, is 0, 0. And you choose one other point. You're going to want to look. Where does your line cross a couple of hash lines? That looks good. 50 and 20 is pretty good. Nice and easy math. Way up here at 140 looks pretty good. 150 and 60. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You're just choosing one that makes it easy for you to do the math. So I've chosen here 140. So we're looking, you know that slope is rise over 1 runs. So we're looking at how much does it rise between the points, and in this case it's 100 centimeters, versus how much does it run along the x-axis um, between the two points. So rise over 1, in this case, is 100 over 40, 100 centimeters over 40 inches. That gives us a slope of 2.5 centimeters per inch. And that's the point of this graph. It gives you a conversion factor. It tells you that every inch is 2.5 centimeters long. This helps you convert. If you know something is 1,000 inches long, you, then you know it's 2,500 centimeters long. You don't need to measure it. The graph has given you a way to do, to do that without measuring the last step, you all know, is to get the equation of the line. And we've talked about how important this is. Every equation you've ever seen isn't just made up out of thin air. Straight line equations are, for all graphs are the same. It's whatever is on the y-axis is equal to the slope times whatever is on the x-axis plus the y-intercept. So in our case, y is centimeters. The slope is 2.5 centimeters per inch. The x-axis is inches and the y-intercept is zero. So our equation is centimeters are 2.5 times inches. Okay, so here's a, a list, a nice straightforward list of how to properly graph.